Hello my crafty pals, Eileen here from the Lavinia Stamps DT and I have another video tutorial for you. Today I'm featuring the absolutely beautiful Chinese lantern stamps, a stencil in the background and some shiny dots. I'm not sure how well you're seeing these because they're not really showing up too, too well in my camera but trust me they are really sparkly. Right, let me show you how I created this card. I have my gel press, Elements Inks, uh, this one is Paprika, Lavinia Stamps Brayer. I'm just popping that on. I think that I've got enough there. I can sort of see this transparent red look which is what I'm after and then on to my stencil and this is called abstract it's popping that down have a piece of um, sponge cheapo stuff makeup sponge and another elements ink called Sundance Now, I don't want to go all over this um, stencil. I just want to use random areas of it. So, let's have a look at this. So, I'm going in a sort of a back-to-front S shape. So, up on the left, over to the right, and then back to the left again. And maybe just a couple of bits in the middle. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's more on there than I thought. But anyway, never mind. We can sort it. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. So I'm taking now a piece of multifarious cardstock in white. And I have cut this to... Oh, I can't, oh yes, so here we are. I've cut this to 18, 8, 8, 8, 8 centimetres across by 17 centimetres in length. So eight by 17. I'm just popping that down. Slightly smaller than the gel press that I'm using. Piece of copy paper. And let's see what I get. Pop that up. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Okay, move the gel press out of the way. And that's my card. Right, next. I have to remember now what I'm, what I'm doing next. Oh yes, I know. I'm using, using a stamp mat now because I want to do some stamping. Pop that underneath. Versifying Claire Nocturne, along with Chinese Lantern Stamp. So starting about a third down from the top of the card. Just going to come across from the right hand side, just across the card like so. That's lovely. And then inking up again. Going up from the bottom. Yeah. And then one more. Make it three, of course. Just 
just a tiny bit coming out here. Now, before I do that, you see that white splodge? Well, I'm not overly keen on that. So I'm taking the sponge that I used and just going to go over the top. And then I've got another bit here, look. There's some surplus ink on that from when I used the stencil. So, I mean, I'm just being totally random. There's marks, there's lines. Because it's a gel press, you get all these random textures. So you'll get away with that if you have to cheat. And let's just cover those up. Right, so I have to re-ink now because the ink may have dried. I'll put that on there. And then that corner will complete three images. That's that. I just wipe the stamp over with a damp cloth and then moving on to the next part then and that's another stamp but changing the color ink first fine clear medieval blue I've only just discovered this blue and I really love it it's got a sort of a cloudy haze to it when let me show you now I've used I've used this um, blue to do the words with here the sentiment the background sentiment but I've also used it which we'll see in a moment with a brush and it gives that really lovely cloudy blue look oh, it's gorgeous okay now the words that I'm using are find them right this is a stamp called magic surrounds us beautiful font lovely little verse i'm not bothered if you can't read the verse when you stamp it i'm just looking for background texture but i'm using the blue so that it sinks more into the background. And just going to take off one generation of the ink, starting at the top. Try and keep it straight if you can. Pressing firmly. See, there was a lot of ink on there. That's second generation, but that's fine. You can read it all. Actually, is a bonus, isn't it? <laughs> right, but I'm not re-inking, going across. Not pressing so heavily this time. And again, but pressing with a bit more pressure there so that at least you can see it and then down. So I've gone and passed right the way through the card, adding the words here and there eventually. There we go. Just gives it a bit more interest. Right. Next, it's the moons. And I used two moons, starting off with a larger one. This is a Lavinia Stamps Moons. You'll find them on the website. Popping that down about an inch and a bit up from the bottom. And taking, again, medieval blue. A couple of bits of copy paper. I can make sure that you're seeing this okay. You are so far so good. And Lavinia Stamets brush, the one that I use for blue, which is always a good idea. <laughs> Just seeing how much ink I've got on here. All right. I don't want too much to start with. So all I'm doing now is flicking out all the way around my moon mask. I'm not adding any more ink, just applying more pressure on the brush and that is releasing more ink that is embedded in those bristles. There we go. See what I mean about the beautiful blue haze? I think that's really nice. Um, okay, next is another mask, but smaller. 
and I'm popping that down in the middle and making sure that I get the border hopefully the same all the way around so it's absolutely framed in the middle of that original mask like so and then back to the brush and same again just adding I better put some more ink on actually but don't go mad with this you don't want it to be too dark just enough so that when you take this mask off you can see two circles or one circle framed by another that's more accurate I think like so yeah good oh, oh. on a roll now okay I'm going to do the final stamping now and that is the words from heartfelt verses and you get uh, three or four different word sets in here there's um, let me read it what have we got with love and sympathy birthday wishes just for you and then there is with love and it's with love that I'm using so I've chosen the words that will just fit in this area and then back to reverse fine nocturne and then just across here making sure it's straight down up so it just finishes it off without being sort of too splashy in your face couple of more bits to do but not a lot so back to blue brush again and the medieval blue ink I'm not going to put any on the brush at the moment I want to see how much is on there making sure fingers are clean and I'm just going to bring in this blue from the outside So that the whole card is framed in this blue. So what do you think of that? That's looking good, isn't it? Right, the final part before I um, mount the card. Or you can mount the card and then do this, your choice. Um, is to put on some glossy accents. And this you need to take your time with. So glossy accents, make sure it's flowing. which it is and keeping the bottle horizontal just put the dots down I'm going to be a little while with this because I'm not going to rush it and I want to make sure the circle is filled with the dots Try and ensure they don't join up though. You want to see each dot totally independent on its own. But I'm not going over the stamped images though. After a while, like most things, you get um, a rhythm going. And um, this, they are... I'm able to apply them with some speed.
trying to make sure that the pattern around this moon circle is even throughout the whole of the image. Don't worry about missing areas. Don't. I, I didn't like putting them over the images, so I just left them out. Now I'm looking to fill up any gaps or spaces that I have that maybe warrant another dot. And I think that I'm done there. So, almost finished. I'm going back to my display board. So I want to show you now you have a choice, okay? So this is, or these are the dots. This is the glossy accents, and you've got that lovely transparent look. So if you want to, you can leave it there and just mount the card up onto another card, blank. So I, I did another layer of white, as you can see, and then the card blank itself. I'll leave you to do that because that's a bit boring for me. And um, <laughs> nothing new there then. And um, But if you want to get the silver dots, you need to wait at least a couple of hours. I'm, I waited until the um, glossy accents were absolutely dry. And then I got the pen out. And this is a chrome pen. I bought this from Sweet Poppy Stencils because I don't think Lavinia do these. But have a look on the site anyway. So this is a mirror effect chrome pen. And just make sure that it's... Oh, I don't want to ruin my display board. Just make sure that it's flowing, the ink, and you've shaken it well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you just very carefully... Put a dot over each of the glossy accents dots that you've made. You'll need to do this more than once. The first lot of chrome dries a bit dull looking. And so I've applied this chrome pen at least twice. And this is the third application. And the more you do it, the more chrome effect, shiny, glossy they become. And, I mean, that's one there. That is quite dull. But apply another bit over the top. And it blings it up. Okay. So you have a choice. You can either silver dots or leave with the transparent look. I loved making this. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I hope that you will too. Let me know how you get on. Thanks for being with me today. See you soon. Bye for now.